nations around the world are dealing with election issues. Decades of democratic erosion have left citizens and governments and communities in a trust vacuum. Now, technology may be able to play a role in bringing back confidence in our democratic systems once again. So with me is mm-hmm. Joy Mondal, the founder and CEO of My Vote, who has a blockchain solution for voting, which um, was really exciting. Joy Deep, I, I was looking through your white paper and I thought, mm-hmm. This is a great time for a company like you. So can you give me an overview mm-hmm. of my vote? Of course. Thank you for asking the question to me. And um, it's good afternoon for my, uh, for my place. So my vote has been described in the three pillars in the governance model. So I would like to describe in three ways. Firstly, my vote is a driver of a digital democracy through a secure electoral process that the finest one the world can have at the moment. Secondly, my vote developed a governing model for the government, CSOs, corporates, and the communities. And lastly, for 10 years, my co-founders and I is working for social engineering, how the human interact. It is about the community engagement, and the community interaction through a collective decision-making process and also a collective intelligence for the future of parliaments and assembly around the globe. Okay, very interesting. And when I was reading through your paper, there was something that really Mm -hmm. kind of rung true with me, and that was the people just can't be put into boxes. Like, just because Mm -hmm. you you vote Democrat or Republican or, you know, different parties around the world doesn't mean that you automatically fall in line on everything. Mm -hmm. So, Is that, when you mentioned the human and the community, is that kind of address that issue that people are complex? Yes. So, you know, we as a human civilization is evolving days in and days out. So so our community interaction and community engagement is much complex. So the lawmakers nowadays really facing a problem, how to address every issue. So hence, my vote has developed tools where every community and the lawmakers will be equipped with our tools for a better informed decision-making from, uh, from uh, I will say rather for every issue by issue. And also the important part, it is cost-effective and transparent. Mm-hmm. So explain to me how my vote works, that you, you're using blockchain technology, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So, so explain the process. Let's say I go and vote. Um, Mm -hmm. And then what happens to my vote and how is all of that tabulated using blockchain? Okay, so I would like to give an overview about how my vote works. Mm -hmm. So my vote has developed RedStack Network, which is a permission-based blockchain network for the government, communities, and corporates. So the RedStack Network has three important parts. Rather, I will say the four boxes that we have developed. Firstly, it is an electoral process built on distributive ledger technology where results are immutable. That means every vote costed in the blockchain, in the reg stack network is immutable. In no way on the earth that you are going to hack the system or you can uh, change the data in the voting. So number two, the most important is about community engagement. So we have developed from a reg stack network, a token exchange that is a community token exchange. In that community token exchange where community can deploy own smart contract, with that smart contract, they can deploy their own token, number one, to reward the community, to give loyalty points to the community, and that tokens give access to every voting rights to the community. And community can redeem that particular token, a particular loyalty points for any merchandise, and community can monetize from this particular process. And And thirdly, the very important is community interaction. So what we are doing, we are modulizing or building templates for voting templates, for general election, for shareholders voting, for let's say for mayor election, for fans engagement. And there are hundreds of uh, templates that we are going to create in in the coming years. And those templates is going to help the community to interact much better, which they have not seen in the, in the, past or and this is going to be a real innovation that we are working on, which is going to we're going to take this blockchain network to a community level. And lastly, most important that we have developed my vote decision coin, which is a governance token. In that governance token, that will give access to the community for an electoral person to exercise their right 
access the voting and that and this is an opportunity for the investors to invest in this token when we hit the exchange for our initial exchange offers at the large token exchange because it is because at the moment this is only one time supply token and the demand is skyrocketing so it's the right time for everyone to participate in our initial exchange offer for this particular token this is okay. how we are working at the moment interesting now there has been some um, controversy about digital voting that networks can be hacked algorithms can be changed uh, to alter election results things like that you mentioned the blockchain we know it's immutable but can you guarantee are we at the point yet we can guarantee that blockchain cannot be hacked oh 100 percent. so what we have done here so we are definitely guarantee the world that this is a digital world and in digital space these votings cannot be cannot be hacked anyway because to hack the system it will take hundreds and thousands of years i'll give an example how it's worked in a very lemon words let's say mr a gives mr b 10 dollar notes and there is mr c in the room who wrote it down in the journal and this is a present centralized system and any time the result can be and that journal can be compromised but in a distributed world that particular transaction will be noted down by millions of people on the globe so what that means is utterly impossible to remove the records so once a vote has been costed in our network impossible for that to remove it from the network mm -hmm. and then um also are, are people's votes anonymous and are they secure Yes, so I would like to address it in this way. That's what we have done in our system is that we have separating the voters' profile and the voting. This is a very important step that we have done for anonymity of this entire system. So with the help of hashing, we can do this process. So the hashing confirms that everything in the network is anonymous. So the voters' profile doesn't get compromised. And the data privacy, it's a key goal for my vote as well. So we keep the data private according to the GDPR norms, mm -hmm. and this data cannot be compromised in any way in our system. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, interesting. And then what, if, like, where are you in terms of this actually being used? Do you have relationships with governments? How has this been received when you've been pitching it to various government entities? So we have a, in built relation with the, the governments in the EU, in the United Nations, and most of the like sitting MPs and everything. And the very important part today, what I would like to say is when we released our beta version two years back, we got traction from more than 20 countries. And now when you're releasing this, this final version, we already signed up with lots of sitting MPs in four continents to for our pilot project. You know, you and I are, are thinking alike when it comes to democracy. What's your dream for democracy in future generations? Well, if you ask me, this idea of democracy, which was built 200 years back, mm -hmm. now what is the most important that we have to do, we need to separate politics and democracy. Democracy is about the will of the people and politics is all about power. But this separation need to be understand. And democracy, it's not only about electing our representative, but democracy is about electing all the issues that matter for us, matter for these generations. And democracy is about giving access to all communities on the planet. I'll give you for an example, few hundreds of movements going on around this world. It's maybe an Arab Spring or a farmer's protest in India, or you can see a yellow vest movement in, uh, uh, in Europe. These are the non-partisan movement and they need to give access to this voice in the community. And this community voice should be represented and our representatives should be accountable for it. And so imagine Jane, imagine a world where we can build consensus in a global issue with the help of the blockchain technology and we can solve the greatest communal and civil war in this world, on this planet, which is at the moment. Wow, um, that would be awesome. And um, I, I wish you the best of luck because I Thank you. I, I think this could possibly, um, you know, put us into a whole new world in terms of democracy and giving people a voice that haven't had it in the past. 